name's Alex. I'm a kinesiologist at the Surrey Neuroplasticity Clinic. Today I'm going to be showing you some balance exercises that you can do at home. Uh, so some can be done just using no equipment and then some might be useful to have a chair or some form of stable surface available to you. So the first one we're going to go with is I like to call it the clock. So you can use tape on the floor or you can just use your imagination. The idea behind this is that we're starting to build single leg stance. So as you're walking or just standing, you're able to use your other leg and still have a stable supporting foot. So what you're going to need here is you can either use a surface to hold on to you or challenge yourself and put your hands on your hips or arms out to the side. So starting here, we want to ground down through our supporting leg and we're going to free up our other one to start to put in different directions. So to start, you can put your foot down fully to get more support. And then as you progress, you can start to leave this foot unweighted and lightly tap, come up and lightly tap. The next progression to that would be to maybe keep your eyes looking ahead or you're moving your head in the direction of which you're tapping. So if you're to be tapping forward, you look forward and tap your foot, bring it back. So you're gonna to go to the right, you look right and they bring it back. So this translates into when you were standing in the kitchen, let's say, and we need to go grab other objects or you know, maybe we need to take a step and we're still wanting to continue conversation. So that's one example of an exercise that you can do at home. Okay, so now for the second exercise, we're looking to do some balance work, which is gonna be incorporated into walking. So in order for us to walk, we need to learn how to transfer our weight from heel to forefoot and then unweight our back foot. The way we do this is we're going to have a stable surface, so a bar or a countertop. What you're going to do is you're going to have one leg stepping forward and one behind. Now you can make this easier or harder for yourself. So if you have some difficulties with balance, you want to make sure that there's a wide space between both feet. So the further apart your feet are, the more, the bigger base the support is. The narrower your feet are, kind of like a tightrope, that's gonna make it a little more challenging. So to start, pick something about shoulder width apart, and you can always play around with the width afterwards. You wanna make sure that one leg is forward and one leg is back. After that, we're gonna bend our knees a bit to soften. So this engages our quads, and this also engages our glutes a little bit more. From here, we wanna make sure that our chest is tall, our chin is just in line with our shoulders, and then we have our hand to support us. So as we go, we're gonna to start to shift our weight forward, coming onto the full front foot. Our back foot is gonna become lifted, and then we're gonna rock back. The front foot becomes elevated, and we're fully supported on this back leg. So we can go 10 times, rocking back and forth, and you wanna maintain soft knees. After you've done that 10 times, you can switch your feet. And you'll find that you'll have one foot that feels stronger than the other, and that's really normal. So your strongest leg will feel most comfortable being in the back as opposed to being in the forward position. But you should still maintain forward hips, nice and square, soft knees, and make sure you keep your gaze upwards. So you wanna feel the weight shifting you shouldn't have to look down to ensure that your foot is going fully flat. So try that, 10 each side, and then play around with how far apart your feet are to make it a little easier or harder. Okay, so here's a third exercise that you can do. We're gonna be practicing sitting to standing. And this translates into walking and balance in the way that we're gonna build some better quad and glute strength. And this is also good for when you're at home needing to transfer from different surfaces or just getting up and going. So what you can start with is a nice stable chair and you can have something in front of you. So maybe a countertop or a sofa, something that is going to stay put and that is easy to reach. 
The setup for this exercise is you want to scoot your bum close to the edge of the surface. You want to make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart and are nice and flat underneath you. From here, the cue that we like to give is nose over toes. So what that means is you're going to hinge at your hips to come forward, placing your weight through your foot and into your heels. Next. You can place your hands on the stable surface. You want to keep your gaze straight ahead. As you hinge forward, pressing weight in your heels, slowly coming up to standing. Now, the progression is you're going to start to come down. So you can hold onto the surface and you can slowly come down. When you sit, perfect, that's great. Step two of progressing this exercise is you come up without assistance. So without using your hands here or in front of you, your hands can stay right in front. You're gonna do nose over toes, eyes stay straight ahead, power through your heels, all the way up to standing. Then you can start to play around with your surface. So your feet can come in closer together as a challenge, or if you wanna even make it more challenging, you can start to do one leg. So maybe your feet are closer together, nose over toes, you come up and then you hold on to the surface and you can start to really work on challenging single leg. So I recommend that you start off with your feet wider and work inward and play around with how much support is needed. No matter what you do, make sure that your chair is on something stable and it's not going to slip away from you. And then if you're finding that super easy, you can even try maybe closing your eyes a little bit or really slowing the movement down, which is always a good challenge. Hi there. So for one of our other exercises we have is going to be standing in tandem. So when we do this, we don't need to be standing completely heel to toe. We can be a little bit staggered. So to start with, be about shoulder width apart. You can decide which foot you want to start being the forward and which one you want to be the back. The important thing to remember is to have soft knees and your hips should be about neutral. So you want soft knees and then from here we're going to have our hands on our hips and we're going to start to look left, right, up and down. So if you have somebody at home with you, they can call it with directions, otherwise you can just vary it yourself. So you're going to maintain this nice stable stance, looking to the left looking to the right, looking up, and looking down. And you want to keep this going. So to challenge yourself, you can increase the pace or have somebody call it out for you. Then you can try to have your eyes closed. So you can close your eyes, find that nice stable position, and then begin to move your head. It should be challenging. You want to make sure that you have some core engagement and your chest is staying tall. Soft knees, core engaged, open chest, that's the starting point. If you need, you can have a hand on a chair for a little added support. All right, now for our last exercise. This one can be done either shoes on, shoes off, whatever you like, and it can be done with any object. So here we have a soccer ball, but if you like, you can use something small like a golf ball, tennis ball, whatever you have around. The idea is, is we're challenging our perception. So our ability to judge objects as they're going up, down, side to side. This also contributes to our vestibular system and is an eye workout as well. So to start off with, you can be feet shoulder width apart and we're gonna just start with tossing the ball up and down. Then you can start to toss left and right and then you can start to work into different configurations of your feet. So maybe you put your feet super close together and you start tossing. So this should be a challenge. If you want to increase the challenge, you can start to do single leg work and then alternate to the other. While you're doing this, make sure you have something stable nearby and make sure you take frequent rests. It should be challenging. It's not meant to be easy. If you feel any dizziness or lightheadedness, make sure you take a seat and take a second until that settles. As always, make sure you do something that's within your comfort zone and if you need help, please ask for it.
Also, we wanna make sure that you don't attempt all these exercises in one single go. Make sure you scatter them, maybe try one a day, and then you can start to layer them on top of each other.